It usually starts with a small but thought provoking idea. What careers will actually pay me well? Or what careers are actually stimulating? Through your rabbit hole of research, you find everyone's talking about data. 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 And we're going to build economies on our data. So it's only natural you want to be involved with one role in particular standing out to you. Maybe it's because you hear it's not super difficult to get into. You don't need a university degree to get started. Excel, a tool that we're all familiar with to some extent, is a common tool used to do data analysis. So you decide you want to get started. You're going to learn data analysis. But as you find, it's not always as easy as it seems. And similar to the five stages of grief, there's also, I would say, five stages within learning data analysis that go from starting your journey, moving on to the highs of landing that role, and of course the lows where you feel despair and those moments where you just feel like you want to give up. So let's start with stage one, the discovery. Maybe your current job role is a little bit depressing. You want to make more money to be able to provide for your family. Or you've just been hearing that data is and will continue to be the future. And data analysis is a great gateway into the industry. Everything's sounding good. You just need to validate other things you've heard. So what actually are the starting salaries? What do you have to do for the role? How easy is it to get in? Do you actually need a degree? And everything checks out. You decide to take the step forward. You even go above and beyond to find out different tools you use to do data analysis. Everything's falling into place. It seems like sooner rather than later, your career is going to change for the better. All you have to do is just learn now, right? Stage two, LFG, more formally known as Let's Flip and Go. You want to change your career as soon as yesterday. So you continue on with YouTube, searching for videos with the title, fastest way to get a data analysis job. And luckily, you're in good hands. There's many videos that go over this topic. One thumbnail seems to just stand out to you. It's well designed, it has great colors. It just looks good. And you know that in data analysis, you have to be able to create visuals, create dashboards that stand out and are clear to users so that what is being presented to them is easy to digest. You click on that video, you're starting to like this stuff. You watch another video, maybe this one's about how to become a data analyst. The next one, day in the life of a data analyst. Skills that are required for data analysts. You are binging this content, not only this channel, but multiple channels. You move on to watching tutorials. Just watching though. You continue watching, continue watching, continue watching. You are loving this stuff. You decide it's time for you to spend a bit of money. Maybe you buy a cheeky Udemy course. It's only up from here, you say. Stage three, NGMI, or more formally known as not going to make it. For once you decide to not just watch the tutorial, but actually attempt the exercise by yourself. You want to go through it. You want to test your skills. Create a pivot table using Excel. You're not exactly sure. All right. Or create an empty data frame in Python, of course, using the pandas library. You're still not sure. You decide all the resources you've been using so far are not helpful. They're rubbish. So you go and seek new YouTube videos, new tutorials, new courses, and continue to watch them. You get a new question. You're stumped. You don't know what to do. It breaks you. You feel like, how could you waste all this time, all this money? You feel like you've made no progress. And believe it or not, being stuck in tutorial land, or more commonly known as tutorial hell, is very common for aspiring data analysts or people that want to get into tech because a lot of people spend their time watching tutorials, using many different resources, but actually not doing the work themselves. Which is why being able to lean on a one-stop shop place like Course Careers to learn data analysis with clear structure will be beneficial for any aspiring data analyst. Course Careers data analysis course is a great way to alleviate the pain of work with so many disjointed data analysis resources as it's all on one site, so one place where you can just work from and really get the hang of including exercises on all the various tools and languages common to data analysis. But you don't have to hear this from me as there's reviews provided by people that have used them on Trustpilot where they've actually scored 4.9 out of five stars. So when they reach out to sponsor this video, I was more than happy to recommend them because it's clear that what they do works. I would even go as far as saying that they excel. Yeah, I know kind of a cringe data joke but what's not a joke is the link that they provided me which can be found below in the description which allows you to start with their data course today for free so you can now evaluate with your analytical mindset your analytical brain if you're going to continue going forward with it based on the value that's been able to provide to you 
was far. Stage four, Yagmi, or formerly known as you are going to make it. You see, despite feeling despair, like you want to give up, like all the work, YouTube, Udemy, didn't amount to nothing. You have that light bulb moment. Everything happens. It now starts to click. With Excel, you know how to use advanced functions, so the lookups, index match. When people speak to you about optimizing code in SQL, you know how to do that. You know when to use joins instead of subqueries. Write your own function in Python. That's easy. I know exactly what to do. Even using different BI tools, Tableau, Power BI, click sense. Isn't it time to showcase your skills to an employer? Stage five, success. You're now creating projects that fit into a portfolio to showcase to employers, usually hosted on sites like GitHub, Kaggle. Some of you even go above and beyond and create personal websites to host your portfolios. You're really trying to get a job. You start sending out those applications. One, two, three, four, five maybe even up to 100. And in the background, you're still practicing on the technical elements of your interviews to come because you've done the groundwork. Sometimes this is leak code, HackerRank, doing some SQL questions as they're commonly found in your interviews, even some competency-based questions, your strengths, your weaknesses. You start to hear back, you're getting some interviews, maybe a few rejections, but that's okay because the interviews are what matters. Getting feedback from those interviews, you finally get that job offer success. Now I want to end by saying no matter what stage you currently find yourself on, I believe with an intentional effort, anybody despite of course having different time frames can achieve stage five so success. So don't quit. And that's all I wrote. Thanks for watching the video and of course if you enjoyed it, definitely have another video for you which will be here on the screen about everything I wish I knew before becoming a data analyst. And until next time, stay blessed, take care and peace.